here at Don Amot, we're proud to present you this uh, Mercedes V250 diesel Marco Polo conversion built on the 19 plate vehicle. It's done just over 22 and a half thousand miles. Um, it's um, got lovely alloy wheels. We've got an outside roll out awning on the outside as well. Lovely blue, dark midnight blue colour. back you've got two ways of getting in you can either just open the glass and access the upper storage there's also a roll down blind to keep the sun out as well and then we can open the tailgate which is electrically operated there's rear and front parking sensors on this vehicle as well just to let you know it comes with its own table and two chairs so they are they've got their own storage compartment in the back and there's also more storage underneath there there's also an external shower point on this vehicle and lots of nifty little storage places the cupboard in here okay so we'll make our way round to the side All the amenities for the outside are in one place. You've got your electric hub and your water fill. Opening window on this side as well. So what we're going to do now is go into the cab. So moving into the cab you've got your header unit with your sat nav um, and everything that you need on there there's obviously steering wheel controls for your radio cruise all the things you'd expect in a mercedes engine so brilliant brilliantly specced now i'm just going to show you how to put the roof up so you turn the key to the second click and open the window slightly then go down to the control panel at the bottom here, press it and it comes up with these symbols. So you go on to the roof opening symbol and then literally press the button. And if Wendy shows you now, the roof is going up automatically. So very easy, but you just have to make sure the window's open for um, the air pressure inside the vehicle. You can see there's two reading lights in the roof up there and the bed is actually strapped to the roof so you don't have to lift it manually afterwards it goes up with the roof while you're actually lifting it so we're nearly there really smooth operation so that's the roof up so we've got controls up here for lights you've got reading lights both sides you've also got the lights in the back of the cab you can switch them on and off um, and there's another big light at the front here so basically you've got everything that you need lighting wise 360 reverse camera yeah there's 360 reverse cameras as well on the vehicle so we've got that and down here as well on this control again if I can just show you the heating is very easy you just select the bars and then you turn it slightly the wheel and it gives you the temperature and then you can scroll up and down to set whatever temperature you want your heating at so that's your heat it oh, on obviously you turn it on on that one as well you go to that um, selection and then press on and that turns your heating on and likewise off okay You've got a clock as well, so you can put an alarm on if you want to. You've also got the tanks, the water tank and waste tank. So that will show you your levels of water and your waste and your fresh tanks. And the one at the bottom there is literally your fridge on and off. So you can turn your fridge to whatever temperature you want. So you can go all the way up to five maximum or just off turn it right down and it goes off you go right down to the bottom so that's the controls there for your actual habitation so what we're going to do now 
is get out and go and have a look inside the back. Okay, so let's go and have a look inside. You can see outside now the roof is up and the door is also an electrically opening door. So just one click and the door will open for you. One thing I forgot to mention is the seats in the front are actually heated as well. So we'll move inside. So the table, either in the up position, which will move along, or you just push the leg in and it stows away neatly out of your way. So it's fantastic. You've got lots of cupboard space here. You've got a drawer there. You've got another drawer there for your cutlery. And this is the sink. You've got your sink there. Now if we move along, you've got your hob, two ring, two burner hob. And underneath this cupboard is actually a sliding cupboard. So you can get into that easily. It doesn't stop you getting into it. So that's very easy to use. And then this one here is your chest freeze fridge. So that's your fridge down there. We've got more storage here. So you can get into that storage there at the back, which is really handy. There's also some storage at the back there, which is quite big. So you've got masses of um, opportunities on the storage. Now these seats, you can actually recline as well but obviously then they make up into the bed so I'll just show you how they oh there's a 12 volt socket down here as well you've got a 12 volt socket and the window does open on the side you've got a control I won't open it because the door's open next to it but that window will open on the side there as well so to move the bed forward you just grab this control here pull. the headrests need to come off when you're putting the bed down they have got a storage space, but I'll just put them to one side for now. And then all you need to do is press the buttons on here. You might need to come forward a bit more, does it? No, I thought that you oh, no. I'm getting the wrong right control. There we go. Okay, just hold the right buttons down. <laughs> And then the bed lowers. You'll see it actually raises above the um, safety belt socket as well, so you're not lying on that. The bed is now flat. And then here, this bit goes across. I'll have to move it forward a fraction. That's it. Excellent. So then that the bit at the back should go down a little bit. I think we've got the storage up a, a fraction, but it, it's a really long, flat bed. And obviously, the bed in the roof is very simple. You just unclip these. And then drops down where the Wendy can get up and have yeah. a little look. I can get through there. Fantastic. Which is again is a really nice big long bed. With your reading yeah. lights up there. So we'll push that back up. You're right. Yeah. Just very simple to do the opposite of the bed. It does. You get the right button. That's it. Yeah, that was right. So there's nothing strenuous at all in putting this um, vehicle into the bed position just wait for it to get up to the top and obviously you can recline these at any level in between if you want to use it as well 
with a recline and then just pull the handle and push it back and we're back in that position i'll just quickly show you spinning one of the seats Sorry, that's the passenger right. seat spun round and obviously the driver's seat will do the same, which makes it a lovely area to be in. So, come along and have a look at this fantastic Marco Polo by Mercedes-Benz. <laughs>